Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is Wolf Freelance Follow-Up Kid, and, um, and I'm back, and of course I am back for another custom LEGO, LEGO minifigure review. Ever since I've been, ever since I first doing this in 2015, I, I just had to do it today, but yes. I know I was quite busy today, but this time I have enough time to make this, this, um, LEGO minifigure review, so... Let's get started. So, this minifigure right there I have updated, which is my custom Lego Jason Voorhees from Freddy vs. Jason. So, I just want to get I just want to re just review the the actual Jason figure because I've been I've been waiting for myself to do this. So, and it looks turn out it turned out really great. So, let's get started to the figure itself. So. So here, here is Jason from Freddy vs. Jason. Um, this this minifigure right there, it looks, as you can tell, this looks way, if you ever saw my old, earlier videos from my older ones, this one looks exactly better than my last one, but I have to already update this version because um, the last version was horrible, so I have to redo this. Um, let's see, we got the Got the body right there. It's got the, the the brown jacket. I don't know if you can see it very well. So, got the black t sh black shirt. The I don't know the brown jacket. The the pockets. The the blue shirt underneath. I mean through here. I don't know if you can see the blue shirt, but it's easier for to see it. So, I'm not using a flash. I'm not using a flash light version because it. Anytime it gets too bright, so I decided to just just had to do it without the light. So yeah, there's no other detailing, just the brown sharpie stain on the back of it, just like in the movie. Um, then he has an accessory, which is a machete. Um, what I did is I just took one of those pirate sword pieces and I just cut him up to make it look like a machete, and I cut this little. To handle part tip off of it too. Got the idea to dot it on a carapace, this whole figure. Um, take this off. Um, so this whole figure goes to dot on a carapace because um, I thought this figure looked just like in the movie, so I just had to just um, took the idea from the uh, took, but I just had to borrow his idea from him so. And not on a compass. I am apologized for it though, so I just want I just wanted to make it look perfect. So it looks better than my last version that I did back in 2015, back in years ago. So yeah, it's got the hockey mask. Um, long story. Now I actually took one of those. I used a Lego baseball cap, you know, with this one. I didn't use the old one. I used the new one. So I just cut the tips out of it off, and I started gluing uh, gluing onto the head. And I cut the tips out of this minifigure head, you know, like this one. But yeah, I cut them off because I thought it would look, I thought it looked easier for me to paint through the straps. So yeah, and the he has a gray head. Uh, that because he's a zombie, that's why I had to do, do the gray head for him. It's got that gold buckle to it. It isn't supposed to be gold. I just don't know why I give him that. So, yep. He's got the two chevrons. Two on the bottom, one on the front. Got holes on over it, just like in the movie. Um, the only thing I love about this figure is the, um, you know, the, the eyes on this guy. Um, as you can see, I just took, I just, um, I just actually copied it from the image. But, I just thought it looked turned out awesome, though. Because I thought it looked just like in the movie. And the eyebrows, the eyes, the detail. Like I said, I love this figure turnout. It turned out awesome. Um, like I said before, it's way better than my other version. On the bottom, um, he has on the custom Lego uh, Frankenstein boots. Like this one. Now this idea... Hold on, I, I took one of these... Um, oh, pieces right there and I started gluing on I and I started gluing onto the feet. And I actually took this I actually borrowed the idea to Ficus 101. 
I, back on my old channel, I started watching his um his reviews for it though in the and like um and I started giving the idea to him though, but I I just had to borrow the two. I just borrow. I had to borrow the ideas from both of these people. I mean, they did really awesome though. Like, like the two Frankenstein boots. These idea goes to figures one on one. Um, and this whole figure goes to dot on a dot dot on a carpus. So, the baseball cap. I actually got the idea to figures one on one also. So he's actually the first person who does this. So I'll leave a link to the to. to to the description to go check him check out his channel he does really good reviews on it so he oh actually he does really good reviews on his own minifigures so i just have to borrow his own idea to it so i apologize for 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 it though but but i thought it looked just like in the movie though i just thought it looked just like it though but yeah that's just the reason why i, I had to borrow the idea so yeah, I am. I'm really apologize for it though. So, yeah, and I do like the way I did the chevrons on the on the mask though. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. He's all he has on the great, great. I mean the black gloves on there. It looks really well done. His hair finally finally turns like when I first re reviewed this figure before right before I updated it. It won't move because it got glued into it because of the hockey mask. Um. And then I started just, like, just use a knife and something to just twist it out, and, and it finally comes off, so. And I'm so happy with it, though. I'm, But thank goodness it finally moves, so. Um, speaking besides with the machete, um, uh, whoops, crap, sorry. Besides the machete, there's another accessory. There's another accessory I'm going to show you. And this is his alternate hand, so. It's got his cut off fingers right there. No, actually, I don't know if any of you remember this movie. Like, uh, anytime he's trying, like he was about to kill Freddy, um, you can see his fingers got cut off from Freddy. Though, it was right before towards the end of the movie that when he's when his fingers got you know cut off. But yeah, I actually love how this turned out. I actually got this on my own. And I thought it looked, I just thought it looked just like in the movie with this, you know, with this cut off fingers. Right before, uh, right before Freddy did it. So, whoa, hold on. I mean, I meant to say right before, J um, right before uh, Jason started, you know. I'm not going to tell any spoilers if you guys, if you guys never watched Freddy vs. Jason before in your whole life. If you're not a big fan of the Friday the 13th or anything. Like, I'm not going to tell you any spoilers, though, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's, I think that's all I need to say about this one, so. Crap. Sorry, I didn't mean to mess it, to mess it up. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, please, please leave a like and subscribe. And, um... And I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next in the next video. So yeah, peace out.